In this video, we're gonna take a look at how Bardeen has now integrated to SmartSuite, and we're gonna do this through the lens of a LinkedIn web scraper. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from automationhelpers.com, and we're a no-code implementation partner. If you haven't used Bardeen, you can get started with the affiliate link in the description below. I've got the Bardeen website up here, and Bardeen is essentially an automation tool that largely exists in your browser. So most of the time, I'm accessing Bardeen via a Chrome extension. Now within Bardeen, if I go ahead and I click this and I open up Bardeen, we have the ability to create playbooks and auto books. Playbooks are essentially automations that we trigger when we open up Bardeen on a page, we can trigger that automation manually or auto books we can have if it's triggered automatically. And auto books are automations that happen automatically behind the scenes. To get us started, I've created a solution inside of SmartSuite to store our contacts that we're going to be scraping from LinkedIn. So I've added some of the fields that we'll want to capture from LinkedIn, like email address, account, position, education, and then a link back or the URL of the LinkedIn page. I'm going to open up Bardeen by clicking the Chrome extension and let's talk about the process for creating our own playbook. So we can click this create button here and we've got a number of different triggers and actions. This is very similar if you've used other kinds of automation platforms to get started. I think the easiest thing oftentimes is by clicking on one of the applications that you see on the left hand side. Some of these come preloaded and others you can click to add the integration if there's a new one. So for example, for the first time to get started with SmartSuite, you're not gonna see SmartSuite listed down here, but you can add it by clicking the plus button to add more apps. And you can scroll down and see there's a lot of the big players in the no code space here to choose as options. So to get started, you can choose from SmartSuite. I've already connected it. You're going to need your API key and your workspace ID. Once you plug those in, that's going to authenticate you so you can now use SmartSuite to be able to push that data into SmartSuite. So in this case, we're going to manually trigger this by me clicking on the Chrome extension and running this job that we have. So we don't really have a trigger per se. This is something that we just manually trigger it ourselves, but we're going to start with the scraper. And to do this, there's this little icon that looks like maybe a post-it note. You can click that and the nice part is that they've designed a number of different scrapers that you can get started with. So you can actually create your own custom scrapers if there's certain websites that you wanna scrape. But for big popular sites like LinkedIn, there's already some scrapers to choose from. So I'm gonna click on the scrape data on active tab because when we're on the page that we want to scrape on LinkedIn, we'll go ahead and kick off this process. So we'll click on this, but we need to tell it essentially how to capture that data. And we're gonna do this with the LinkedIn template so in this case, we can choose from this. I might have this kind of preloaded because I've created some with LinkedIn already. So you can start searching at the top for LinkedIn. I'll choose this LinkedIn profile here. And this is going to find us all the information we need. We're actually not gonna tweak any of these other items. This would be relevant if you're scraping a lot of different profiles or a lot of different listings from other websites. We can press done. And now we can add our next action, which is going to be to connect it to SmartSuite. And so here we can scroll down and we've now got this SmartSuite action here. We can click on that and we can see some different options. We're going to choose to create a SmartSuite record. And because you're authenticated, you're going to be able to see the different solutions that you have already set up inside of SmartSuite. So I'm going to search for one that I created specifically for this, Bardeen Demo. And then from here, we've got our different apps. So I'm choosing Contacts. And then this is how we're going to be able to map the information across. So if we click in here, this is going to let us pull data from a different step. In this case, we wanna pull from that scraper that we did our very first action. So we could say, scrape the data. And from here, if we scroll down, we'll want to find the person's name. And as you can see, we have all these different fields that are coming from that listing from the page that's coming from LinkedIn. So we can click on name. And then I already have this set up. I'm not gonna go through and do all of my mappings again. So let me close out of here. I'll just show it to you quick here if I open this up in Builder. So we've got our scraping and then we have all of our mappings listed. And this is really just two steps. Now we could do additional things. Like in the past, I've also connected it to OpenAI. And so I actually have it summarize the page and then pull in the summary into SmartSuite. So that's another way to do it if you're doing some prospecting but I think this is a good start for us today. So I'm now on my LinkedIn page and I'm gonna click that Chrome extension. Again, it's really the same interface that pops up when we trigger this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on scrape LinkedIn profile and that's going to run this automation. 
you can see that it happens pretty quickly to be able to pull that data. It's showing me a summary here, but what we really care about is that back inside of Smart Suite, now our data has written across. So I've got my email address that pulls in, we've got the account information, the position that I have, my education, and then the actual link itself. So maybe I wanna click and be able to go back to that profile, I can do that. And if I expand this, I've had it right across the actual description here too. Now there's other fields that it didn't pull because we chose not to map them. But remember, you have the ability to create the fields that you want and set up the mappings the way you want, depending on what's useful for you. The funniest part to me was that I was actually able to pull my personal email address, which I wasn't aware is available in the data set. And so typically I'm not seeing that, but it's probably buried in the source code somewhere on the page. What I found was really interesting is I thought, oh, maybe this just happens if this person is in my network because I had read that on LinkedIn. But I actually had this happen with other people as well outside of my network. So for example, I previously worked at Zoom and was not connected to my CEO. It's a huge company. And here, if I go ahead and scrape his information, a CEO of a major corporation, I'm like, there's no way that this is going to capture his email address but I run my scraper and lo and behold, and I'm going to blur this out because I don't need to personally be the one to share his email address, but I've got like a personal email address for the CEO of Zoom sitting here. So salespeople go nuts. I'm sure there's plenty of other tools that do this as well, but I found this really interesting as we were setting up the automation. I think you're really going to enjoy using Bardeen, especially if you have automation use cases that involve AI or web scraping. Those are two areas that they're really great at. If you have any questions about SmartSuite or getting your no code or automation project up and running, don't hesitate to reach out to automationhelpers.com where we're offering free 30-minute consultations.